that's pretty much it's like the auto unions and then you had the music industry which was huge when motown filled the airwaves and the big three ruled the roads detroit was america but the city fell hard record labels left for the west coast in the 1970s and over the years car makers moved jobs overseas decades later the city's revival is unfolding but even with detroit's turnover some things stay the same Music is just around here. It's like a second nature kind of thing. Omar Mefta grew up in the city and never left. He is a DJ and spends time buying new labels when he can afford it. Music is just a huge part of like the environment in general. Those moving in pick up on the same tune. Yeah, she likes you. Stuart McDonald bought a place in the West End after spending time in New York and found introductions were hard at first. When you, like, you're walking with a dog, some people are excited to see the dog and other people aren't. Everybody likes music. So. His dog would greet strangers, but it didn't do the trick. He then turned to a strategy of song. One of my interactions early in moving here was uh, my neighbor and we connected over music and she has an amazing record collection. He says it's music that became a bonding force. She's a lifer and I am just recently to, to this neighborhood can connect pretty quickly over Michigan's rich music history. Even as the Motor City faces an uncertain financial future, music is consistent and matters to the people who call it home. And even if you have a wide variety of opinions and political difference, once you've established some shared familiarity and, and shared value, it's a lot easier to connect and reason with each other on why your opinions are the way they are.